Ecclesiastes chapter 8. Follow the monarch. Who is like a sage? The man of wisdom. And who is aware of the interpretation of a matter? The wisdom of the wise brightens his countenance. And the skull in his countenance vanishes. Follow the monarch's orders. And do not make careless, thoughtless vows before Almighty God. Leave his presence without delay. Do not linger when the matter is unpleasant. For the monarch does whatever he pleases. There is power and authority where the order of a monarch is given. And who may challenge him and ask, what are you doing? Anyone who follows the rules of the monarch will be protected from harm and doom. And the sage knows the right time and way to achieve anything and everything. There is an appropriate time and an appropriate way to accomplish anything. And so, a person's unhappiness is quite weighty and burdensome to him. For he is not aware of what will be. For who can inform him of what will be or when it will be? There is nobody anywhere who has authority and power over the spirit. None can avoid doom or postpone the day of doom. There is no escape from that war, and evil deeds will not save evil doers. I observed all these things as I considered everything, every business that is done beneath the sun. Here some humans have authority and power, while the rest only endure tribulation under them. Certainly, I have observed evil doers buried in their tombs. And while returning from the burial ground, they were extolled by the dwellers in the city, where they erred and did evils. This likewise is vanity. Because sentences and penalties against evil deeds are not executed promptly enough, the minds of the offspring of humanity are ever ready to do wrongs and evils. Although an evil doer or offender commits a hundred offenses and continues to live, yet definitely I'm confident that it will be well with all who stand in awe of Almighty God because of their reverence for him. But it will not be well with evil doers. Now will they continue to live their lives like shadows because they do not stand in awe of Almighty God. They have no reverence for Him. There is a vanity, a very useless thing, which occurs in the world. They are good men, righteous men, and things happen to them as if they were evil to us. And obviously, they are wrongdoers, depraved men, and things happen to them as if they were good men, decent men. I declare that this likewise is vanity. Certainly, I commend happiness and enjoyment, for a person has nothing better to do beneath the sun than to eat the best foods he can and drink the best drinks he can and be merry and enjoy his achievements. He can at least do this as he toils and strives while he has the gift of life that Almighty God has bestowed upon him beneath the sun. Whenever I studied carefully, applying my mind to digest wisdom and to observe the real business that is done in the world. How an intelligent person could stay awake all night and all day searching for answers. Then I saw 
and I understood everything Almighty God has done. That man cannot find out anything Almighty God had done beneath the sun. However hard a man may toil or strive to find out, he will not find out. And though a sage declares that he knows it, he does not know it. <laughs>